so this will be the inbounds tutorial for budget cuts um if you haven't watched the previous video you should go ahead and watch that but for this i'll use translocator force double smooth locomotion to max and detection speed off so once you start here you're just gonna go over here normally and just do this route that i covered in the setup video and then Preserve this key card by placing it into the, your inventory once the screen goes black. And you can see once it respawns, then this will be in my inventory, which is important for later. Grab this key, place it in there, and then grab this. Um, you can go around if you want to, but I prefer to go there. Which with double translocator force will just put you right here. And then go just through there. There. And then into here as fast as you can. Not that button, but that one. Okay. And so... The reason we preserved this card is so we can just immediately finish the level. Okay, for consignments, you want to just go through here, up here, and then through like normal. Um, make sure to put the card in your inventory after the end of the level, so you can just immediately take it out again. Teleporting here is faster than walking. Unlock this, and then just teleport as fast as you can. If you go here fast enough, that guy should not have enough time to attack you. Go through here. And this part is mostly just normal. There, and there, and then get here. Um, if you preserved a piece of paper, um, well, okay, well, the fastest route is to just teleport down here from there, and then just teleport through this door, except it's kind of, this door is more difficult than most others. So if you can't get this in like your first three tries, then don't even bother. Instead, just go up here and unlock the door like normal. You don't need to keep that key card. Because now, let's see over here. Just disregard taking the key card stealthily, because they will like not really be able to hurt you and you can just leave like normal you don't have to keep that key card or anything i already went through finding april in my setup video so i'll just skip to show her okay once you're in here immediately grab this and teleport to this and type in 4608 then you can do whatever you want with that phone pick this up come over here quickly memorize the number and type it in so this, in this case, it would be 6718. It's different every single time, so you need to make sure you actually read it properly. Okay, so in this level, you should have a piece of paper from Finding April, but if you don't, then just pick one up from there. Teleport through there, and then just come over here and do it again here. Now, if you want to skip this, then just go through here, and you have to back this up much further than you'd normally think. And then you will drop that, so you've got to pick it up to preserve it. 
But if you can't do that, then just drop all your stuff outside of there and then just hit the like switch there. So this is the final level. If you preserved a piece of paper from the previous level, you should have it in here. But if you didn't, just pick one up from there. It's literally no big deal. Just come through here. And you have to go through here. Up there. And then do this then. One teleport up there. Come here. And flip that switch. And then teleport back through here. And then this is the hardest clip of the game. You kind of have to angle your piece of paper like normal. But you have to place this like about there instead. Oh, and don't put it away. You still need it for two more clips. One there. And finally, one there. Then you can just drop it. And then once you get down here, it's just normal. You pick up the card and teleport into the train.